This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and Bernina. Hi, welcome to Block Builders Workshop. My name is Erin Russick and I'm the assistant editor at McCall's Quilting. Today, I am gonna show you how to machine quilt this braided knot block. This is the block in your Block Builders Workshop this month. I'm gonna show you how to machine quilt it on the Bernina 550 using a BSR. My quilting plan for this is, um, I noticed that these fabrics have this really cute little flower inside a square, and I have a really big square here, so I thought that would be a perfect place to put a flower. Um, and then um, when I'm quilting this block for real, I would probably quilt wavy lines in these darker bits to hold them down. But right now I'm just gonna show you how I do the center square. So I have my Bernina 550 all set up with the BSR. The BSR, uh, was invented by Bernina about 10 years ago or so, and it's a really great way to machine quilt. It regulates your stitches while you're quilting, so you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to coordinate your hands and your feet to keep your stitch the same length. It's been a real revolution to the quilting industry. I really like quilting with it. Once you have your, your BSR foot installed, you plug it into the bottom of the sewing machine, and you can set your stitch length on the screen. I've already done that, and I, mine is set for two millimeters. And then I'm gonna want, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is bring my lower thread up so I can hold on to that while I start. And what I'm gonna do is just a curly cue in the center, um, and then I'm going to um, sew my flower. So to, you just push start, and it starts, I'm gonna take a few stitches to lock, and then I'm just gonna do my little curly cue. I'm gonna stop here and trim my threads so they don't get in my way once I'm machine quilting, and then I can just go to town with the machine quilting. So here we go. Just hit go. And notice that as I move the fabric slow, the machine moves slow, and as I move it fast, it moves fast, and that's how it's regulating the stitches. So I'm just gonna do this big spiral. And now I'm gonna do a petal. And these are really freeform petals, so I'm not trying to be super fussy about them. Uh, if I were trying to be really precise, I would have marked that, but this is a fun and whimsical quilt, so I don't really feel like I need to be super precise with the quilting. I just wanted to have the fun feel that the fabrics give it. Okay, now I've got my flower done. I'm just gonna outline these petals a little to give it a little bit more oomph to the quilting. Notice how nicely the stitch regulator is taking care of the stitch length. You can see that all these stitches are really close. This is just really a fun way to machine quilt for everybody. Once I outline these petals, that is gonna be enough quilting for that block. And I will just finish off my thread. Once I get in here, take a few stitches and up my needle. And there we go. We have a nice little flower um, quilted right in the center of our block. I, this is a super fun way to machine quilt and I hope you guys give it a try. This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and Bernina. <music>